Pretty Polly Stakes, grade three, racing away. Raised the bar just a little bit slow out of stride. Way West Goddess came out flashing her speed, but Southern Lights is looking to match her just as half a length off them. Laurel Canyon, Empire Rose with the blinkers, close up. On the inside we find Giggs just off the first call. Uchi Agents a couple of lengths off them, Buko winner, and the slow starting raise the bar. The Pink Silks of Way West Goddess is going the quickest. Southern Lights is only three parts of a length away. Giggs to the inside, Empire Rose just needs a touch of luck between runners. She's going to go for a split. Gets the wake-up call. Laurel Canyon to the stand side. They come to the 400-meter marker. Way West Goddess being held together. Southern Lights now comes under a ride to the stand side. Empire Rose is looking to lift at the rail. Got to get to Way West Goddess the last furlong. Way West Goddess looking to hold tough. Empire Rose on the inside. Uchi Agent trying to quicken up. Way West Goddess. Empire Rose is trying to come through late. Uchi Agent's flashing up. Fastest of all, Uchi agent flying empire rose empire rose on the inside and uchi agent going down to the wire empire rose looking to get up but uchi agent came with a late rattle at the line between runners way west goddess the finish of the Pretty Polly Stakes turns into a real thriller with three horses crossing the line. All of the four Uchi agent, the one Empire Rose and the six Way West Goddess. But the one that was making up the ground from the back was the winner, number four Uchi agent from the poor match at Stable Sherman. She absolutely flew this filly. I didn't think you were going to get on top of them when, you know, in the Way West Goddess, a very speedy sort up front. And then we had Empire Rose. I mean, she quickened. Turned out to be, be a battle between those two, but uh, this filly really mowed them down. She did, you know, uh, my plan was always to jump out and just sit behind them, a little bit at a time and come running at them, and this is exactly what she did. She jumped out, she settled nicely behind them. Going through the 400, I felt her picking it up, and I said, okay, well, we've got, uh, got a chance now, we're in a place, and then, then she started picking up more, I said, okay, well, we're going to get to them, and uh, she absolutely flew the last bit, and uh, well done to Paul and uh, the owners, you know, have a, have a feature as runner, it's very nice. Well, surely on this performance, she's going to get a bit further in her career as well. She will. She'll, she'll end up going a little bit further later on. And, um, you know, that Empire Rose, we beat it the first time that ran. So definitely this, this source, uh, something's come. Congratulations. Lovely to have you in the winner's enclosure. And we've got a little momentum for you for the Pretty Polly Stakes. Well done to jockey Sherman Brown. He brings home the four. Uchi Ajin from the Paul Matchett stable. Well, you said you liked your fillies and you said you couldn't separate them, but was this a little bit of a surprise for you? You know, not really. Julie, she's a lovely filly. She's improving all the time. She's getting stronger by the day. And um, I'd just like to congratulate the, the owners that are not here. Rob, Rob Stewart, he's the, the, the soldier that's here today. But uh, Derek Minnie and uh, Lyle Cooper and uh, Mark Thompson, they're not here. But uh, well done to those guys. And uh, what can I say? Thanks to Sherman, had a fantastic race. Now, tell us about the features coming up for this filly, because I know there's plenty planned for uh, Champions Day in a month's time. Will she be taking them on again? Yes, definitely. We'll have to go that route, and um, after that, go to Durban. Well, there we go. Congratulations, Paul. Quick double for the stable. Lovely to have you back in the winner's enclosure. Thank you very much, Jules. Well done to trainer Paul Matchett, and there's your Pretty Polly Stakes, a lovely little grey filly uh, representing the Pretty Polly Stake memento. Mr. Thompson, come into the winner's enclosure. Lovely to have you on course. What a thriller. I mean, did you know you were going to get it? You were watching your filly all the time? All the time. No, I, if you look at her last race, she had the second fastest time over the last 400. And we knew with the extra she's going to be running on. You know, so I thought, no, she's got a chance. She'll be there. Wait till she goes 1,200. Oh. Well, that's what I was thinking now. I mean, the way she took off, I mean, yeah. you've got to think, well, 1,200, 14 in time to come. Certainly yeah. going to be her game. Oh, no, we're looking forward to it and that. And, you know, we, we own the mare. And uh, we've got another little way west from her as well. So all good working things out well. all working out well. And, and well done to Derek Minnie, uh, Mark Thompson and Alal Cooper, my other partner. And to Paul, fantastic training feed. And to Sherman, he's a master. Well, there we go. Thank Congratulations. You. Congratulations to you. Your little memento for the pretty Polly Stakes. The grade three with victory going to the two-year-old filly. Uchi agent. She scores her second win from five career starts. She's now a black type fitty, having won a grade three event and uh, it's going to be promising for the owners having been in breeding and uh, certainly going to be a nice filly to breed with in time to come. Sherman Brown, Paul Matchett teaming up here. Well done to the connections and it's the second win on the card from Summerhill Stud.